It's January 1st. Oh, five. Oh my goodness. I misspoke. It is so cold that I misspoke. Hello, my dear little tchotchkes. I love you very much. Good evening. And uh, I hope you have lots and lots of blankets and other wonderful things surrounding your warm and fluffy bodies. But don't you worry, your friend is here. The friend who understands you. Understand on your, all your worries and concerns. And that's the only place right now on public access where I would say, go for it, girl. Or man. Go for it, man. Well, it's happy 2015. Are we excited to look into the future? Are we excited to understand uncertainty? Are we going to embrace the future that's facing us back? The real answer, we don't know. And even more real answer, who cares? But that's where I have to come in and say, I do care. Like one of the earlier presidents in the United States of America, who do care about a lot of things. First of all, I care about you, my viewers. I care about how you holding on on days like this. When Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas and New Year's Eve is behind us. And you have nothing to fall back on except me. That's right. I'm here to reach my helping hand and say, don't you worry. I'll take you into the future. I'll take you. I'll give you a hug. Maybe I even kiss you in the forehead. This is actually kind of questionable gesture, but that's okay. Because the next holiday, as far as I'm concerned, is in the near future, kind of far away. So what do we have? We have each other. We have each other. We have our soft and fluffy bodies that can be squished together in order to produce warmth and understanding. Well, here I am, packed in three minutes, wisdom of generations, wisdom of those Tibetan monks, wisdom of sheep herders, wisdom of the plastic surgeons, all in one minute. And now, you have to derive the, your own conclusions. Because next time, I will dip a little bit deeper. All right? Thank you. And for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give myself a tip. By the way, what I want to say, for all of you who wished this program, Talking with Terry and Nikolai, Today's Terry is a little sick, by the way. Okay? So, uh, my wife, my wife, my real wife, here. She's a little sick, so I'm going to take this entertainment in my own capable hands. And I will examine any subject, any subject that will pop during this discussion from both sides from negative side and positive side, from the female perspective and from the male perspective, from the perspectives of silence and from the perspective of loud voices. I'm going to give myself another tip. So what I want to say, thank you to all of you. Yay. 
Thank you to all of you who wished this program, this particular program, talking with Terry Nikolai, all the wonderful wishes and upcoming 2015. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I will use your good goodwill desires and a proper accord. I'll put it in the right direction because that's the most important thing, to put it in the right direction. So what I wanted to do today, it's rather unusual. It's a little DIY you do, 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 you do, you own to do project. I got this t-shirt as a gift from my wife. And it has this insane graphic right over here. Here's the graphic that I have no idea how it's ended up. But I like the t-shirt. Here's the t-shirt, right? It's like a hocus pocus. What I also did, I got a special pen. Special pen. OK? How special, you would say, that pen is. Nikolai, can you tell me how special your pen is? I would say it's a really special. It's a really, really, really special pen. There it is. See, it's, it comes in a bag with a face. See, this is where I got my bag, pen. Is it here? Wait. Is it upside down? Come on, man. Did you get the special pen? Yeah, man. All right. Are you ready to meditate? Hello, my little darlings. Give me a chance to prove myself in this cold, cold world where people don't understand each other. I will reach out and take your pe pen. Yeah, I will. Here it is. Here's the pen. Do you sir? Sir, do you recognize this pen? Excuse me? In the court of law, do you recognize this pen? Yes, uh, this is the pen that's been used to create artwork. The artwork that generations in the future will be praying for in order to be able to touch it. Just a little touch. Just a touch. A little touch. Yes, it's being used with this pen. Do you recognize it? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Please don't punish me. You're not going to be punished because you recognize this pen. This pen is better than soup. Potato soup, actually. This is the question where you start asking um, the level of my sanity. And I would say, spare the breath. Spare all those questions for later closer examination. Why? Wait. I'll tell you why in a second. Don't change the channel, I'll tell you. Because somebody has to be. Somebody in this city has to be kooky enough, intelligent enough, hairy enough. I have to have some hair on your face. Uh, and. Uh, Someone who has a interesting following, and that would be me. So let's go back to the project that I wanted to do in order to lift up your winter spirit blues. Okay? First, we have to shake it, shake the pen. I just did this theatrical reenactment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cha, cha, cha. Do you realize? that uh, it would be nice to spend a couple weeks on Cuba right now. It would be nice and warm, but why Cuba? Key West is closer, and Miami. 
Why did I mention that? Because it's cold outside, honey. Honey, it's cold outside, what? It's cold outside, I said. Put your favorite socks on. Mm-hmm. Put your socks on, your fuzzy socks. Yes, you can use mine. OK. Have to create art. You know, performance art, people. You think it's easy? Do you think it's easy? Do you know when the inspiration can strike you? Do you think I ask for it? I ask for inspiration every other minute. How? How am I asking for inspiration? Very kindly. I'm like, hey, inspiration, would you be kind enough to come and visit me? Inspiration, can you still live in New York when the rate rents are so high? Huh? Do you dig it, man? Yes. You can still live in the places with the high rents, said inspiration, while ordering medium rare burger with the french fries. All right. First, we'll cover this. Who's that person on TV doing funky stuff? He is living almost free, eating watermelon and barbecue. That's right, it's me. All right. What did I do? I just ruined perfectly nice and clean t-shirt. How did I do it? Very easy. I consider this to be an experiment. Do you have experiments in your life? Well, the kind of experiment I'm talking about that where you take responsibility for your actions. That's what I'm talking about. You know? It's like, hey man, I just I just made a potato soup. And I take full responsibility for the taste. Like, no, stop that man. Wait. Stop it. Don't let him eat that soup. Oh, no. And I would say, oh, yes. Sometimes I have problems. I do. But sometimes I don't have them. This should be kind of lifestyle and attitude towards life everyone should have, you know? Let him be, he has a little farm, farm, farm. Okay, this pen Need some adjustment. Because my creativity trying to spill all over this t-shirt and ain't happening. Well, okay, my dear viewers of greater New York area. On a scale from one to seven, how free do you think you are? Wish I had the, that music with from Alex Trebek. Teen, 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 teen. You don't know? I don't know either. I didn't realize. I didn't realize it's gonna be that difficult. Well, let me tell you, life is difficult. But when it's difficult, the species that find itself in ability to adapt to changing conditions, 
will be able to survive. Wow. Okay, continue my art project. Ah, that's how it is. So, my darlings, I found something. It's called inspiration. Okay? In order to use this pen, the one that I famously introduced in this program, right? Can't really draw it. You have to dub it. Like another TV television personality, Lou Dubs. Lou Dubs tonight makes his own laundry. It's usually a very humbling experience, as far as I remember. You know? That's what my wife said all the time. Stop being too clever. I'm like, what, Terry? Help me to help you to help me. It's like, okay, because you're special, I'll help you. That's how you should be too. You know? When in moments like that, it's like, oh my God, that guy is his special. And I would say, absolutely. Ask me something again. I'll tell you how special you are. No, no, really, he's very special. Okay. Probably everybody thinks that, like, I'm special. That's what my mom said all the time. Like, please. Mmm. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Something tried to escape me. And I said, no. You still have to stay inside of me. And for all of my friends who are sick today, some of you are, I would say I will perform a, a, a ritual in a few minutes that will help you not to be sick. All right? So please stay tuned. I would recommend to, put, um, to go and get some uh, glass of fresh water, not cold water, room temperature will do, and put it in front of the television screen because it's very important that the water will absorb certain properties that I will send out to you through television screen, okay? And you don't have to be sarcastic because I truly believe in it. I'll truly believe that the energy that I send through the television screen will settle in in the molecules of water, H2O, right? If you remember chemistry class, I can tell some of you probably do the chemistry almost every other week. All right. Want to see work in progress? I'll show you. He'll show us work in progress. Can't believe it. He said he cannot believe it. All right. You want to see? Ha 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 ha! Thank you. By the way, I just want to shout out to Richard, who is a producer for the show today. He is one of the most wonderful people on the face of the earth, earth. And if there is any single ladies out there who wants to meet him, I would vouch for his sense of humor, for his patience and charisma. Without him, I wouldn't know what I would be talking about tonight. Thank you very much. You can find him somewhere. Richard, where they can, uh, ladies can find you? Here at MNN. Ladies, I'm telling you, this gentleman is not going to be available for too long. Just don't take the bearded man's 
word for it because he's charming, very tall, and I bet he can cook. Would you want to have somebody like that in your life? The answer is yes. <laughs> Will he make you laugh in a time of distress? And the answer is yes. He will make you laugh till you cry again. And then you'll forget what you were, why you were crying before. Is that the kind of husband you want to have? Or boyfriend? We'll start with boyfriend. Let's not rush into marriage. And the answer is yes. He's clean, very hygienic. Is that the husband? Oh, no, boyfriend. You want to have? Yes. Also, he laughs at my jokes. And that is a gift. What does it mean? He will build up your self-esteem and all those qualities that you probably had in you in minutes. Who else does that? In this city, in this big, big, big city. That's right. That's what I thought. So you can find Richard here at m and Okay, did you see my project called T-shirts, T-shirts of summer? T-shirts of summer, it's called obstructions. Y'all, see, it's right, it's for sale. At some point, I'll sell it for the highest bidder. Actually, this is would be, this T-shirt will be a gift to the first lady who will go out on a date with Richard, my producer for tonight's show. How about that? This T-shirt will fetch about $200. So ladies, put your warm clothes. Don't mind that cold weather outside. Come and meet us here. Now, you see what human imagination can bring you? It can bring you wonderful things, like better than Santa Claus. By the way, where is the Santa Claus now? Where is he? Find him. Hmm? Is he back on the North Pole? Where I would bet it's really, really cold again. Yes, he is. back to watching you for next year all right I have to go back to the uh, ritual of um, of giving you my darlings uh, a little bit of positive energy did you bring that glass of water that I mentioned earlier all right well let's do it all right you ready okay halabaga natabara Ubachi Ganabara Hudacha Abadigadu Labara Huchkinaparta Mantara Hunka Chkida Fananta Kapachi Tura Fanadar Pachidar Pachidar Kambara Pachidar Ah Oh. Ah. <sighs> All right, you can drink that water in about five minutes, let it sit for a little bit, and then you can use it. All right, you'll thank me later. Ah, it's okay, you can thank me now. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I just want you to be okay. All right? I want you to be sick. That's why. Okay, back to my project. My project. How many projects do you have at home? You have projects? Maybe you need a project. You know, not to feel droopy and loopy. Huh? Get yourself a project. 
Sometimes that's what people need. Hey, our project got to do this. I would say, great. Oh, uh, I have another project. Like, fantastic. What are we without projects? Nothing. Back to the animal state. I don't know if animals have projects, but I'll tell you. People need to have projects. Something to work on. Because you think that's the that starting a project is achievement in itself. The moment you start the project, the only thing you start to think about later when this project will be over. Right? Right. And then you start missing it. You're like, oh no. Oh, I wish that project could be a little bit longer. I love it. Ah, human condition. What is it? Constant mystery. That's right. That's right. That's right, baby. Human condition is a constant mystery. I wish I knew that when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, of course. What do you think? I want to know that younger. I'll look at some writings that I did uh, when I was young. It's like another person. It's another person. Another person. What can I say? You know? That's how you have to look at, at it yourself. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, this project has to be finished a little bit later. This, right? My darlings. Ah ha ha! You like it? Do you like it? Oh, you don't. It doesn't matter at all. Because why? It's January 5th, 2015. Things will change in the future. Do we know how? We have no idea. Do we have control over it? Absolutely not. But I'll tell you one thing. If you drink that water that I charged a few minutes ago, you'll feel much better about yourself. And uh, maybe about your relatives in general. Who knows? Only you do. I would say, let's have a handshake. Thank you. Have a lovely evening, and I will see you very, very soon. Probably next week. Goodbye.